In this video, we'll look at how to use a button in the interface to control an action in your presentation. For the demonstration, I'm using a free 3D model from the SketchUp 3D warehouse. You can find it at bit.ly forward slash clever house. I've imported it into the Architecture Daylight 8am preset, which you can find on the Create Project screen. I've also imported a model of a plant and duplicated it four times on the balcony of the house. You can find the plant model at bit.ly forward slash clever plant. Let's create a button in the interface that allows the viewer to hide the plants. Once the plants are hidden, the interface will display a second button that lets the user show them again. First, let's create the button that hides the plants. Go to the Insert menu and click Button, then 2D Button. The button will appear in the section of the viewport you click in. Add it to the centre of the screen at the top. Instead of one of the ready-made graphics, let's use a custom image. In the button rollout of the properties panel, go to the first drop-down and select Image. Now click on the up arrow to import an image. I'm going to use one I created in Photoshop and saved as a PNG file. Select it, then click Open. To move the button inwards from the edge of the screen, go to the UI position rollout. In the Y field, enter a value of 35. We want the button to be visible at all times until the viewer actually hides the plants. In the Show in Steps rollout, open the drop down and select Always Visible. You can give the button a new name. I'm going to call it Hide Plants. Next, we want to create the button that shows the plants again after they have been hidden. The easiest way to do this is to duplicate and edit the existing button. To see a list of interface elements in the scene, go to the Presentation menu and click Elements. Right-click on the Hide button and select Duplicate. In the Properties panel, rename the duplicate Show Plants. Now let's update the button image. Click the cross icon next to the thumbnail to remove the existing image. Now click on the up arrow to load a new image in its place. Again, I'm going to use an image I created in Photoshop and saved as a PNG file. Select it, then click Open. By default, we want the Show Plants button to be turned off, so go to the Show in Steps rollout. From the drop down, choose Custom. In the Active Steps dialog, deselect it in all of the steps, then click OK. Now let's create the action that hides the plants. Go to the Insert menu, click Action, then Show Hide Objects. Click in the viewport to create it. Its properties will appear in the Properties panel. Now give the action a new name. I'm going to call it Hide. Now let's set which objects the action hides. In the Action rollout, click Hide Objects. The Hide Objects dialog appears. We want it to hide all four plants, so select them all. But we also want the button to hide itself, so select Hide Plants. When you're done, click OK. Once the plants and the button are hidden, we want the Show Plants button to appear. In the Action rollout, Click on Show Objects. This time, select the Show Plants button and click OK. Next, let's create the action that unhides the plants again. The easiest way to do this is to duplicate the existing action. To see a list of actions in the scene, go to the Presentation menu and click Dynamic. Right-click on the Hide action and select Duplicate. In the Properties panel, Rename the duplicate Show. Click on the Show Objects drop-down. This time we want Clever to show the plants, so select them all in the list. Instead of the Show Plants button, we want to display the Hide Plants button, so make the appropriate changes. When you're done, click OK. Now click on the Hide Objects drop-down. We only want the action to hide the Show Plants button, so deselect everything else in the list. 
select Show Plants. When you're done, click OK. The final step is to link the actions to the buttons, so the actions trigger when the viewer clicks on the buttons. Go back to the presentation menu and click Elements. Select the Hide Plants button. In the Properties panel, go to the Events rollout. In the drop-down, select Project Actions. Now click on the new drop-down to its right. Select Hide and click OK. Go back to the item list and select the Show Plants button. Again, go to the Events rollout, open the drop-down and select Project Actions. Now click on the second drop-down. This time select Show, then click OK. To see the new interface controls in action, we need to preview the presentation. Go to the Project menu, select Preview and then Save. When the preview loads, you can see the new interface controls in action.